video proof that I'm a strong, independent black woman. Nah, that shit is lit! So I have my license. This video is sponsored by Naywai. <laughs> I'm so sad. It's crazy. Like, it actually feels like... <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed, you guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video to like talk about it, but hey guys, my name is Sophie. Welcome back <laughs> to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I do fun stuff. I'm not usually this sad, but oh, it's weird. I don't wanna like cry on camera because I feel like that just defeats the purpose. But I also knew that if I turn on my camera to start recording, I'm not going to cry. Like, I would feel like crying, but I'm not going to cry. I'm going to talk it out. And this way I'm, like, balancing myself out, basically. But, hey, guys. If you've been following my videos, this is, like, week two, three since I got back from Nigeria. It's, like, November 29 right now. I'm not sure when this will come out, but I feel like it's probably going to come out November, like, not this Sunday, but like the next Sunday, I think. And so I'll be like probably past this and I might not want to post, but hey, Abby, Abby's my editor and she like posts my stuff. But anyway, so I'm back from Nigeria. When I got back from Nigeria, I ended up getting bronchitis. I thought I had COVID, but it wasn't COVID. It was bronchitis. Then after bronchitis, I ended up falling even more sick from just like my body shutting down. And so like I've tried to like rest and like get myself together. But y'all, it's so hard. Being 24 is like weird. It's like just a weird space I'm in where like I'm so self-aware about what's going on and I know how to like change it. I know I have the steps. Like right now, I know I have like 50 million things I have to do, but all I want to do is just sit down. Like I'm so unmotivated to do anything. And I, that never used to be me as a person. Like I was always such a go-getter. And like, I feel bad for not being a go-getter, but I also like, there's so much going on. <laughs> there's so much going on with my health. Oh, I got an IUD, is that random? Like it's just birth control. I, should I talk more about that on my channel? But I got an IUD put in, so like I've been cramping really bad as well. And my period just started today. So like, is it like my body and my hormones are like trying to adjust to everything that's going on as I grow up. It was weird, it just feels weird. And I don't even know where to start from. But right now I know that like my house is a mess and I feel like that's like, if anyone knows me, you know like Sophie does not like our house to be messy. I like it really, really clean and tidy and like organized. So I think what I'm gonna do today is like organize my stuff and like just clean stuff up. I have a meeting that I'm already late for at 12.15. I'm glad I'm coming on to talk about this. It make, it's making me feel a little better. I wish you guys could like talk back at me like in real time, but this will do. But yeah, so right now I'm going to hop on this call and then once that call is done probably probably just organize and then work i have a few deliverables that i need to get done too i'm so overwhelmed like it's all good things happening but it's also like life is happening too that i don't know if i want to share but it's so weird it's so weird being in this space right now I'm trying really hard to like get out of this funk and like just exist and live. Active living is what I've been trying to do. Active living where rather than just passively live and just allow things happen to me, I actually choose what happens to me. But yeah, I'll be right back. Let me go for this meeting so I don't get in trouble. Not okay. So I've cried just a little bit. I just cried a lot and I, <laughs> I was like, I've cried just a little bit. I just cried a lot. But I've cried, I'm feeling much better. Not really, I'm lying. But anyways, I'm gonna put you all down here now so I can like change the scenery so you don't feel like you're bored with me like sitting down in one place. <sighs> this is really how I try to cheer myself up. It's not working, it's not working. But okay, so just update. I am gonna clean my house. I'm just gonna, you all gonna hang out with me as I do so. But 
I also need to go to the DMV. So I don't know if you all were following. I'm going to like link the video here. But I finally got my learner's permit. And like a goal in my life since I've come to America is being able to drive in this fucking country. And that's super random. But like I don't think people understand how limiting it is to like not have a car and not be able to drive. Especially because like I would like I want to go get groceries now. But i would either have to take an uber and then log all the things i get like it's just it's so much more of a hassle and i just want my own car i feel like that is like the like i've made it like i am proud of myself thing but to get a car i need to get my driver's license and because of covid it's been taking like the closest appointments for me to get is like in 2024 so it's been like a long hard road to try to get this fucking appointment so i finally went to the dmv again last week i actually cried because of this i think it's also my period but i went to the dmv last week and i was like hey like i stood in line for three hours waiting for like an appointment and then this lady comes out and she's like oh we're so sorry uh you know you can't do your test right now because i think she said something about like it was going to be a four hour wait still and it was already and they were going to be closed by then so like she took my name and my email down she said monday at 11 a.m was the time i picked i woke up this morning went to the dmv because i didn't get an email but i was like mm, maybe they just forgot to send me an email i'm gonna go anyways and they were so they were not mean but they were just very like nonchalant they were like oh well we didn't put your name on the list so there's no appointment today again i was like well, i should have just waited that day rather than left the line <sighs> anyway so they told me to like come back around 2 2 30 today that they might have some appointments and there'll be more staff to help people this afternoon so i'm going to try to like just take an uber and go and see if i can just do this road skills test i need this license i need my car i want a car i really really want a car i just i need something to go right <laughs> it generally feels like i don't have i have my apartment of course but it feels like let me put y'all down here feels like everything i want feels so out of reach and there, it's for a reason i can't talk about yet i'm gonna be hopefully i'm gonna be able to talk about it in like a year or two years from now but i just talk, can't talk about these things yet but anyways i'm gonna go right now to the dmv pray for me you guys i hope they have an appointment let me just get this over with and then when i come back we're going to like clean stuff up together sorry emails but yeah so i am going to go now and then i'll be okay i always am when i tell y'all <laughs> it's been a rough day it's been a rough day but first of all I got my fucking license. Okay. Oh. Hold on, hold on, I wanna dance. Come, come say hi. Yeah, oh my god. So, I. Don't play me. He hates when I do that. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got my license so basically after i got off the like camera and stuff i was just like thinking and i was like okay nothing is going right today and i just want something to go right and i i just i know there's something that has been on my head and i know if i like don't do this today it's going to take another day and it's going to take half my day and i just wanted to get it done so i i remember like when i was angry at the dmv earlier the lady was just like if you come around too maybe we're gonna have time for you maybe not but she said it very like loosely so i was like hmm, if i go they might still send me back and i don't have a car i'm using base car to like drive around and he has to be with me because i have a learner's permit so i can't even drive the car alone so that means somebody else is having to take the time out of their day to follow me there but i was just like okay let me just go and try this thing so i actually went there 1 30 today and like i just walked in and i was like hi like they told me to come today but i'm not sure if i have an appointment blah, blah 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 and the lady was like oh you came back and i was like yes i did i was like help my ministry and she was like okay yeah go ahead and i wanted to cry i swear like i literally ran and i hugged her i feel like that's not covid safe and she was like like she was like she was just she knew i was just happy and relieved so we got there and y'all we finally i register i'm about to like you know start to do my road skills test i forgot that i need like the person 
whose car I'm using has to come and like check some things off, which I did not know was a thing. So tell me why I had to like call Bay to bring his car and like come help me check the things. His car isn't registered to Virginia. And so now I'm like, oh my gosh. And so now they're like, oh, well, you have to come back and maybe wait in line and this and that. And I'm like, yo, like, please, like, this appointment was even so hard for me to get to, like, can I do anything else? You guys, I literally started walking around the DMV. I wish I recorded this thing. I started walking around the DMV, begging people to please let me use their car. I literally kept going, hi, like, please, like, do you mind? Like, it's just for my road test. It takes, like, five minutes. And, like, they could be in the car, too. So it's not like they can't be in the car. People are so mean. Yo! Like, it was one lady who had her child. And, like, I was just like, hi, ma'am. No! I was like, bitch! I didn't even tell you anything. I didn't even ask you a question. So rude. So I was like, why is she angry at me? But she generally knows to talk to me. So like, nobody allowed me to use their car, which is fine because I know it's not safe, but I was also like, it is what it is. And so, you guys, I started calling all my friends. And so my old neighbor is Bergen and Reina. I don't know if y'all have seen them. I don't think I've vlogged them before. I think I have with Kova when he had a groom one time. But my old neighbors, I've not spoken to her in like three, four months, but like we're still cool. So I literally called her out of the blue and I was like, hey, like, are you still in town? She's like, yeah, I still live by the house. And I'm like, could you please please come to the dmv and can i use your car for my test she said yes like this girl literally took off the rest of her day to just come help me get this license so shout out to brogan love you love you so much y'all please comment down below love you brogan because you see how like i, I was talking to bear because he was there with us and he was like he's never seen somebody so tenacious before and i'm like that's me like once i put my mind to something like i will for sure do it especially because like i was already so mad at myself for like just the entire day just going crazy so like the fact that like i got oh look he's chilling with me the fact that i got to like end up like doing it it feels good so i have my license now all we need is a car Yo, when I get this car, you will not hear the end of it. I'm gonna drive everywhere. You will do drives with me. We'll go to Starbucks. I've never actually even drank coffee before. We're gonna drink coffee. I'm gonna do so much. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to have a car, Bobs. Kovu, are you excited for mommy to get a car? You're gonna get a car seat? Finally, you know I said I wanted you guys to organize with me and just get my stuff together because I actually need some help. But this is all the prices. That, this is not even all the prices I've gotten. But this is me. We are currently like, see like my closet, all of this needs to go. Cause I don't wear half of those clothes anymore. So I actually need to link my Depop down below. That's Kovu. But I even got this like thing from Selena Chef that I need to open. Really dope. Like look at my apartment you guys. I, you know I'm clean. Like if you've been following me for a minute, you know I don't like my apartment messy. But am I gonna clean up today? Nope, I am tired. <laughs> So like I even need to like organize and wipe it down and everything. So tomorrow is my cleaning day for sure. Like I'm gonna try really hard to spend the day like cleaning up. For now, I really do not give a shit. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've had such a long day. Like all I wanna do right now is go get dinner and get some rest and just chill. So I have a driver's license now. So they left his car for me. So I'm gonna go drive to pick up food. <gasps> I'm gonna vlog driving! <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I'm just getting really excited. So I'm actually gonna do some work actually. I just checked my emails and I have a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna do some work real quick. I think I might just clean up the living room just because I think it's gonna drive me crazy. So I am going to clean up the living room a little bit. I think I can like handle cleaning up the living room. And then once that's done, I would just like organize some stuff then get some work done and then go buy dinner. So I could be by his place around eight. Right now it's like 5.36. So I'll leave everything else that is messy but I'll like clean up the living room. So come clean up the living room with me. So
<laughs> Drinking Gary and Grano. If you follow me, I'm a Nigerian. This is all I eat at home. I've been eating all day. But this. All right now I have to work. And then we'll get food later. It's like 6.10, so I'm going to work till like 7.30. The house is tidy. Look. Those are my clothes I'm wearing, so ignore that, but. Kofu's playing. Kitchen is clean. Still like a lot of stuff that I hate, but for the most part, it's tidy, so. Now I'm going to work for a bit. And then, yeah. I don't even know if y'all can see me, but we are going to drive. Oh, yeah, Sandra is calling me. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll call you guys back. All right, just got off the phone with Sendo. Y'all, that girl is my heart, man. If you don't know who Miss Sendo is, she's Bay. So right now, I'm gonna just head over to Bay's house. Actually, I'll, yeah, I'll, I told you guys I was gonna go out east, but I'm actually going to Man's house. Okay, I'll just... I'm feeling really happy and I want to go celebrate it. Don't judge me. And I'm taking Kovu because he hasn't been over there since Bay had his surgery. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yeah, Bay had his surgery and he's been sick for a while while I was in Nigeria, which was not the funnest thing, but okay. So dog is ready. Look at him. Say hi, Kovu. So now we're about to go drive. I know, I'm, I'm gonna be safe. I know it's dark. I'm gonna try to vlog with you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do this. Driving by myself for the first time. Oh, also, look at my like bummer jacket I got from Amazon. It's so cute. You guys, I'm trying to like, <laughs> I'm trying to like put the thing, like the camera somewhere so y'all can like see me drive but it's not working i want y'all to see me you guys must see me by force just for a little bit i promise and then i'm gonna take you off okay y'all like manage to like be like right okay hold on hold on <gasps> okay 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 <laughs> oh i'm so excited okay so i'm gonna put where i'm going to and i only for like few minutes you guys and i'm gonna actually like not drive I'm actually like not gonna like so like <laughs> oh my god the place I want to go closes on Monday that's so sad so he's gonna have to buy me pizza or something because my period is cramping and I definitely want some food driving <laughs> okay like, I know how to drive yeah but like it just is like extra cool to be able to drive Bro, you better start wearing toko. Come on, yeah, we didn't be. Sorry, I also have slight road rage. It feels good to like just be like driving on my own terms. But yeah, I'm actually gonna not vlog right now. But I will see y'all tomorrow. We have a lot of packages to like open when I get home tomorrow. I'm gonna go eat some pizza, celebrate my driver's license, and all of that. So my camera died yesterday, okay? Oh, you guys, I'm cramping. I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, my camera died yesterday so i it was off but i literally just got back home yeah I, i've been working all morning but i need to shave my head so i went to the store to get some groceries not really i just went to get kellogg's and i said kellogg's rice krispies I actually like frosted krispies i wanted to get some frosted krispies and i also didn't have any more pads at home so i got some pads and uh my shaving cream because i have so much hair on my head right now i need to shave i need to get ready for the day not necessarily like get ready for the day but like just shower and like get myself together whenever i'm cramping i like to feel comfortable and right now i do not feel comfortable so we're about to you know go take a shower clean up and then yeah you know what's crazy you guys since i got my litmus permit i have been watching all sorts i actually need to poop like i'm always announcing that i need to poop with you guys oh shoot because i'm wearing a jumpsuit so i was gonna like poop and talk to y'all <clears throat> hold on can y'all see anything no oh yeah there we go so yeah so 
Has this ever been done on YouTube? I don't think so. So I, since I like got my learner's permit, I shit you not, get it? I shit you not, and I'm pooping. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, so since I got my learner's permit, I have literally just been Googling like cars. I am obsessed with YouTube car tours, like, people who like got their new car and I know the car I want. I don't know if I'm gonna tell you guys yet, but like when I'm touring cars, I wanna like share that, but like, yeah. So I think I know the car I want already and I know the color I want and the style. I, I'll give you a hint, it's a big car. Okay, comment down below what car you think I'm getting. Period poops are like the worst. Do you guys get those pain? I'm gonna go poop and then I'm gonna shave my head and get comfortable and just do some work. I'm going to happy hour with my friend Lena. We actually did our internship at Women for Women International, a nonprofit in DC. She actually is an Afghan woman who I think lived in Afghanistan and when the Taliban took over, this got serious real quick and I'm on the toilet explaining this. But yeah, so she has been very vocal about Afghan women and like women's equality and stuff. So it's really cool to like actually be linking up with her. We did our internship like two, three years ago. So like for her it's like, still want to talk to me and hang out with me, I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna actually try to vlog this. And then I have like a bunch of packages I need to open too. So this that will be in this video as well. But yeah, so I am, oh, gersh, oh my gersh. Okay, I'm waiting for the medicine to kick in. But while we wait, I need to shave because I have too much hair all over my body and I don't like it. Like armpit hair, like vagina hair, like everything, it's too much hair. So we're gonna shave and then we're gonna talk about how much fun Nigeria was. I think by now I should have posted like the final vlogs. It was nothing too crazy. I wish I could like vlog more, but I'm hoping to go back for like December to like, you know, properly vlog and stuff. But I think it was fun. Like I'm proud of myself actually vlogging. And then like my editor is amazing. So like we gel so well, so it doesn't feel like, I hope you guys like the editor. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the editor. If I do shh, it's because my cramps are cramping. Also, I don't really see when, if you're ever watching my videos and you think that you should follow the way I wash my my shave, don't, don't do it, okay? I am terrible, I'm the worst example. Do not listen to me at all. Also, I might be going to New York this weekend. So my company has this event that's happening this weekend that I might be going for. I'm not might, I am going for this weekend. And then also, yo, I'm so tired. But yeah, so my company has this event that's happening in New York this weekend. But also like one of my friends, DJ Buka, is also, his birthday party I think is this weekend. So I'm supposed to be in New York on like Friday, but like, I'm not prepared. <laughs> You know when you're not prepared to go anywhere? Like that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm like, I'm not prepared to actually go anywhere. Like I just wanna stay, I've not rested at home properly. But I also feel like I need to get out of the house. Cause if I don't, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna always sulk about being at home and not doing anything. I literally just, <laughs> I just watched Graham Norton and I shaved my head. That's my, that's the day in the life. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then once I'm done with shaving, I'll get comfortable. Okay, so I'm finally dressed. Finally feel so comfortable, you guys. I, I don't know about you, but every time I'm on my period, I feel like I want to be comfortable. And I'm super excited because this video is sponsored by Naywai. They sent me some incredible pieces that I actually already had in my closet. I am rocking my Naywai loungewear and bras. Yes, I said it, bras. If you know Sophie, you know Sophie does not like wearing bras at all. But this is the one bra, okay? that I would actually let my titties be imprisoned in, okay? They don't feel like they're prison at all. Like, I don't have any wire bras. Like, if you look into my closet, I don't have actual bras. These are the only bras I have, and they also come in different uh, colors and different styles as well. I think this one is the spaghetti strap style, and I also have this loungewear sort of like sweater that has like a little like, cover robe that, you know, makes you feel like girly and stuff, which is really, really fun. So I'm obsessed with this piece. 
absolutely obsessed with their barely zero panties and bra like you guys like dead ass the best and most comfortable set i have ever worn it's like meant to highlight women's comfortability and everything like that and with the special fabric they create it's super soft takes all the moisture in and it's just really really pretty as well and they have all sorts of colors which makes them like amazing they have like brownies champagne wheat trickly almond and so much more obsessed with every single style they also don't like i shared with you guys earlier they all they don't only have bras and panties they also have some incredible like loungewear slash knit options as well i love their loungewear you guys it's so comfortable it's like really elegant like the sweater i have on and the pants are so like soft and restful i think they're made of like this soft breathable cotton fabric that allows for like actual comfort like you guys know how much we are all spending at home so it's really really cute and cool to have like comfortable stuff especially in my period right now i'm absolutely obsessed so yeah their products are actually made from this like really cool cloud fit fabric that like conforms to anybody or size so like this bra goes from like an a to a double d right that's so crazy so it really like hugs my body and everything too which i like absolutely adore so if you actually want your own barely zero bra or just your fun loungewear if you want that you can get 20 percent off your first order the code is down below with code sophie right so yeah thank you naiwai for sending me these i am obsessed hey guys so i it's like evening time and i know i promised that i will vlog after but i ended up having to work so right now i just got changed i'm actually wearing my nay like comfy top y'all this thing's actually really comfy i'm not gonna lie they did sponsor this video but their clothes are actually really bomb so this is what i'm wearing let me show y'all i wore this with like some leggings and then my uh, wait amazon boots but but i really feel like in one of these packages right here there's a there's a coat for this jacket so i'm gonna try to bring uh, wrap one of them i know i promised i was gonna do an unboxing of the packages i got but i bought this aritzia coat that i really want to put on so i'm gonna try to use that and see it. sorry no, no, no fuck now you. Okay. Okay. Is it, is it, is it? <sighs> it has a hood! Okay, so I actually have the coat on from Aritzia. And you guys, I'm actually obsessed. I want to find a place I can put you so I can show you this because then I have to go. My Uber is like three minutes away. I know I'm not driving. I'm so disappointed in myself. But look at it. It even has like, oh, you guys can't see me properly. You got to see me in my full form. Okay, there we go. Like, look at this. Oh, no. Hold on. You will see this coast today. See? And it has like a little like flap thing. It's like a hoodie. Oh my god. I'm gonna walk. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. I never vlog outside, so I'm really excited. So, uh, my battery's about to die. The battery on this camera is actually pissing me off. But I am walking down this alley. It doesn't feel like it's safe, but apparently the place is right down this alley. So y'all are gonna walk with me because I don't know where this is. But I'm like 30 minutes late because my freaking Uber has kept canceling on me. Oh, I'm so hungry. This does not feel safe at all. I don't know why people thought this was smart. Oh, okay, this is nice. This is nice. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at. It says it's all the way at the back of Blackton Alley. So it should be somewhere here. They're so kind to think that 
I can use these. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Oh my god, same. We're so similar. <laughs> we are done with dinner. Oh, Michelin star. We're about to head home. Let me try. Can we ask this person? <laughs> like, could you help us take a photo? Do you mind? Thank you so much. I was like, oh my god, this is like intense. I know, it's a setup, it's a whole thing. Uh, but you want to take it here? Well, I'm taking this makeup off. Here we go, we're going to take a few. Okay, we're going to do a portrait, just like a little closer. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, you're so nice. Just one last one, just one last one, okay? Just so that you have a few options. Okay. You're out here! Yeah. I think this wow. is wow. So, my battery's about to die, but I just got home from dinner. And my patio, like, thingies from Ikea just arrived. I've been wanting to do this patio for a long time. So I probably think the next vlog, let me show you guys real quick. Cause I think my phone is, my camera is about to die, but the next vlog, I don't know if you can see outside properly, but like, I want to put like some grass out there and some chairs and stuff. So patio like thing just got delivered. I'm about to like offload it. And then I need to charge this thing before it dies on me. But dinner was actually really fun. I'm so glad I went. And then I'm also going to bring all the stuff back upstairs. And yeah, okay, okay bye. Kobu, you glass by I think that's the last one. And then I also have the chairs that I bought. I'm gonna show y'all in a bit and then I can go and rest. Why are you sniffing? This is video proof that I'm a strong, independent black woman. Give me a sec. Oh my God. in her castle. Ew, I just cried from behind on camera. Sophie, I'm disgusting. Anyway, so yeah, dinner was fun. <laughs> I'm about to probably get out of these clothes, tidy up a little bit because the apartment is messy and then just get some rest. I don't know if y'all can see it. I think it's dried. But like, I ended up crying this morning so bad. I ended up crying this morning so bad that like, I wet my entire bed morning hey guys happy i think it's a wednesday today and i woke up on like a weird side of the bed where like i think i just i was watching kelly stamps and emma chamberlain's youtube videos and like i feel like there's something in the air right now that feels very like exhausting like there is a lot going on in my life right now that i can't share with you guys yet but I definitely woke up feeling very sad and I just broke down crying because I just couldn't do it anymore. I'm so tired and I miss feeling so carefree and it feels like I don't have the luxury of doing that. <sighs> anyway, so I'm up this morning. Um, what am I doing today? Today, I gotta take Kovu out to pee real quick because I know it's getting late. And then I have to, I have to upload some stuff for a brand I'm working with. And then I have work, like my nine to five, that I have to do today till one. And then I have to shoot a Mac video. I think if I sh end up shooting that video, I think I might feel a little better because then I'll feel like I'm being creative. So I'm hoping I like get out of my phone.
sad. I'm going to try to shake it off, of course, but I'm feeling really sad. So right now, I'm going to have to take... I'm going to work for a bit, and then I'm going to go shower right now, work for a bit. And then after that, I'm going to try to get some groceries, since I still have base car. I'm going to go do some groceries, and then once that's done, I'm just going to, like, do the max stuff. And then... I don't know, I have dinner. I have dinner with my friends tonight, so we're gonna go to dinner. And then that will be the end of the vlog, okay? Bye, guys. Hey, my loves. It is like three o'clock now, and I've cried like all day today. Like all day today. But my camera is telling me my memory card is dead, so we're about to head to Best Buy to get a new memory card. And I might as well just make a grocery list of things I think I need to buy while I'm out anyway. So I'm just gonna go get groceries. Cause I need to have done all food in the house. But I'm going to New York on Friday, so I'm like, do I actually need to buy food? Not really. So I think I'm just gonna actually just buy some, like make some spaghetti, or I'm actually going to buy food. That makes more sense. So I think I'm gonna do that instead. So never mind on groceries. <sighs> I'm gonna be okay. I know, I know, I was supposed to vlog going to Best Buy, but I finally bought a new memory card. And I'm watching the Wizkid. If you don't know Wizkid, he's the best, he's the biggest international music artist ever in the world. And he sold out the O2 Arena in London. And yo, he brought fucking Burner Boy out for day three. Are you shitting me? What? Yeah. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. he did that i wonder if he's gonna bring out davido i can be saying davido i'm so disgusting davido <laughs> my big age but hey guys i'm back home i'm feeling a lot better actually it's definitely been a rough day for sure i feel like it's weird when i'm trying to like communicate how i'm feeling with you guys but i can't like tell you exactly what's wrong so i feel like i'm always like oh my god guys i'm going through so much and then i'm like but i can't tell you what i'm going through <laughs> but yeah so that just lit that just lit me up so i finally have a new memory card and i think this one actually is really fire i got like 250 something gig mm -hmm. so at least i have that and i also bought like some extra batteries because i realized that like my this camera's battery dies a lot so now i bought like three more so that way like i can always like recharge it whenever i want to so tonight i have a dinner with erica if you follow me on instagram erica is one of my really close friends and our mutual friend sasha who's also who's also another really close friend of mine i think we're gonna go to like some italian restaurant in dc to go like hang out just erica has been going through a really rough time this year so it will be fun to like just hang out and say hi to her i'm going to new york i agree i finally decided i'm just gonna go to new york and see bola my friend because it just makes sense like i'm not doing anything in dc i've been like i feel like i'm stuck so it'll be really nice to just actually just like go to new york and like see what's happening see what i can do so i actually went to the store because i told you guys i had to buy some stuff and i just bought some sardines and some titus so i'm gonna make some spaghetti tomorrow and i've also bought some plantain as well yeah which is fun i don't know why that's fun but it is so Yo! i'm so excited they're doing this
I've been procrastinating and I need to open some packages. And so we're going to open packages together. Let's see what I got. Oh my gosh, my titties. There we go. Can y'all see me? Yeah, you can. Okay. Package number uno. What did I get in this package? I'm a but... Oh, I forgot I bought bed sheets for my bed. What's this? Oh. Oh, I forgot I bought this too. Hey, okay, we're doing it. So, bed sheets for my bed. Well, not for my bed, but like in case guests come over. And then let's see what this is here. I think I bought some shoes as well. Oh, shit. Oh my god. This is bigger than my head. What the hell? I don't care. What were you thinking? Shoes. That's not bad. Bought some socks. Oh, shoot. I think I bought some socks for my mom. One for my mom and then one for me. This is like from Fuzzy. Because if you notice, I wear socks in all my videos. So I like buying socks to walk around. Because the floor in my apartment is really cold. So I'm going to wash those. What else did I buy? You know what's crazy, guys? I literally spent so much money buying all these things and I don't remember what I bought. These boots feel like they're so big. Like, why is it so big? Oh, this is cute. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight. Okay, sorry. But, this is one of the coats I bought from Aritzia too. Look at how cute this is, y'all. This is so nice. These coats actually like, they feel like money. Like they feel expensive. They were, but I didn't expect them to feel expensive too. But they do. Ooh. I forgot what this is. We care about women wearing fashion and comfortable. Thank you. Oh. It's just a term. I was like, I don't remember that. So this is, I think, a set I bought, yeah. I wanted like a hoodie set I can wear. I'm actually bought, I'm glad I bought all these because I'm going to New York, so it's going to come in handy. So I'm going to wash most of this. And this is the black turtleneck I bought. I have this really white tennis skirt that I'm probably going to wear them with. I think they'll be really cute. So much. What is this one? Oh, interesting. Oh, I bought this like long sleeve sweater thing, a turtleneck. I actually buy a lot of stuff, wow. And then I think these are joggers that I bought, just like the ones I'm wearing right now. Yeah, I bought some like, I feel like these are fake champion joggers because the quality does not feel the same, but no, it says it is, so. But the quality feels definitely feels different than the usual ones I usually get. You don't put that like open there. The mail is so nice. Not me. Oh, this is pretty. This is actually really pretty. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It smells so nice. It smells so nice. Wow. You guys, I have coats and shit. just called me asking what my ring size is yo i'm not getting married anytime soon so she should not even play games should i wear this i'm not putting on makeup so i feel like i should wear something like like a leggings leggings and like a nice sweater oh, oh, oh. this is so soft okay i'm gonna wear this and i'm just gonna wear 
leggings under it. Yeah, I'm just gonna wear leggings. I feel like I don't have the mental capacity to wear anything else. I'm gonna get changed and then I'll wear like some boots and stuff. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not sure how I feel about these boots. Let me show y'all. So like, these are what they look like. Can y'all see them? No. They're comfortable, but I feel like they're, they're comfortable, but I feel like they're big. Maybe it's just me. Y'all, this coat is gonna be my best friend for the longest time. I just know I'm gonna wear this coat every fucking place I go to. Like, look at this. I feel like it's so cute. I feel like my nipples are like so out there right now, but I don't care. <laughs> Is stressing me out. Erica is stressing me out too. Sorry. Yes, please. Because these things that we're eating is just in bugs. I don't know how to eat all these things. Oh, let me put this here because it's too much. I don't understand I like the lobster the best. The rest were okay. I'm still hungry. Hey, my loves. I am home. I just got home. I am tired, but dinner was actually fun. I didn't really like the food like that. It was very, very much so like, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have makeup on, so I'm about to probably just head to bed right now and go to sleep. Take off my clothes a little bit and then just 